We've just released a new feature to the iGyro portal which will allow your project managers or other staff to create manual purchase orders. What you're probably used to is your project managers, if they're short on an order, uh, they'll go to Bunnings or a local trade and issue a manual purchase order in a book just like this one. So the process here is they have a manual purchase order book, uh, they would write the details out to a particular trade or supplier, uh, put the site address in there, put a brief description and sign it off um, and hopefully put a, a cost center in there for the accounts department as well. So the problem with this is that uh, the length of time it takes to get this purchase order back to the back office staff so that they can use in the accounting. So a lot of the times it's either dropped back into the office in person and someone has to photocopy it and rekey in all the data or they'll take a picture of it, email it in and that data is then rekeyed. So the problem with that um, is the length of time it takes to get that purchase order back uh, but also the double entry that you're finding in your business. So today I'll show you how you can use an electronic version of this manual PO system. Uh, you can use that in gyro on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, uh, whatever the need may be. So the process is here, you can locate a job in your gyro portal, either via your site schedule or just locate the job by searching. The new tab here is on the right hand side is called orders. Now this screen will give us a list of all the current orders you've got in the system and a little bit of detail about that order. So the first column we've got the cost center, so we've got a cost center number uh, plus the name of the cost center just for easy reference. We've got the actual order number here, the XGST value of that order, uh, the supplier the order was made out to, uh, the date it was ordered, and over on this right hand side here we have a few additional columns. Now this invoice column links up to the iGyro accounts payable system. So whenever an invoice comes into the system it's matched against an order number and this will show you the total of the invoices against that order number. Uh, for example here we've got a, an order here for 050, uh, just over $2,500 worth of value there and we've received invoices to the value of 2,490. So the next column is the variance column and that will tell us the difference between the invoiced amount and the amount we actually ordered. In this case it's minus $91.67. And just to the right of that is a little pie chart that will give us a visual of that, letting us know that we've received 96% of the expected invoices for that order. And last but not least, there's a little link here to download that order as a PDF. So if I click on that one there, this is the order that we have attached in the system. So I noticed on this job there's a bunch of manual purchase orders that were created in the old way. So these will still be here. So someone's entered these into the account system and keyed all the data in so that we know the values of these items. Uh, we've received $408 worth of invoices. It's showing as a, an over amount in a red indicator there, just because the actual order was keyed in with zero dollar amount here. All right, so we download that PDF, we'll see that that was a manual purchase order. Alright, to create a new manual purchase order using the new electronic system, uh, we'll click on this button here that says Create Manual PO. You'll be presented with this screen which gives you a few fields to enter. So the first is the company, so you can make this purchase order out to a particular company. So you do that by searching through this list just by typing. Now these companies are based on your business contact stored in Gyro. Next we'll assign the order to our cost center. Now the email field, if you leave that blank, uh, it will just email a copy to yourself, to your own email address. 
or you can type in any other email address to copy it to, uh, or search for someone in that business. So these emails are pulled from your business contact once again. The next two fields are the amount of the purchase order. You can leave those as a zero dollar amount, uh, but that doesn't give your accounts team um, much information to go on when they receive an invoice. So if you do know what the amount is, you can type it in here. So if you know the inclusive of GST amount, type it into this field. And the XGST figure will be marked appropriately. Uh, the description is just a free form text field so you can type in whatever you'd like here. Right, once you're happy with that order, click on the save button. Okay, you'll get a message saying that you have sent a purchase order and this is the order number here. So if you didn't need a copy of the order of the actual order, you could just use that purchase order number, provide that to the supplier. You click OK though, you'll come back to the order screen and you can find your order in here. PA that you've just created will be available immediately in the system so all the back office staff know exactly that the order has gone through uh, will also be immediately available in the accounts payable module meaning whenever an invoice comes in uh, the invoice will be matched to the order number straight away and there'll be a good record for your accounts payable team to work with.